Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com and today I want to show you how to make a pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern keychain. Um, pick this up from a fellow YouTuber who also does Paracord tutorials. I'll have a link down to his video in the description. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. And I did this completely from the scraps I have. So I have silver and this is going to be the keyring portion. Orange will be the pumpkin. You're only going to need about an inch, maybe half inch of dark green or green. And then yellow will do like a highlight inside the, the pumpkin. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do a two strand diamond knot to get going. And I have, oh, I don't know, about two and a half, three foot of silver here. And the first thing you want to do is find your center point. The way you do that, you put your two ends together, and then you pull it. And this is my this is my center point right here. So once I find that center point, I'm going to create a loop with it, and then loop it around my middle finger, just like that. I'm going to bring the cord like this. I'm going to zoom in so you can see a little bit better here. There we go. And we're going to take the right cord and kind of rotate it forward. See, I'm rotating it forward like that. We're just going to create a loop. Now this loop is going to fall right over top of the other strand here. Once you have that loop created, you're going to grab your other cord. You're going to take it around and under the first strand, just like this. And then we're going to go over, under, over. So it helps to pull this up just a little. So we're going to go over, under, and then over, just like that. And this is going to kind of pull right up on itself, just like that. And you're going to have kind of a decorative looking knot right there. It's kind of a figure eight type thing where you have two loops, one here and one here that kind of intersect with each other quite a few times. The next thing you want to do is grab that cord you were just working with. You're going to pull it down and you want to make sure you go underneath all of this right here. So we're going to take it underneath and you want to make sure that you go around this cord right here. This one that's coming up from your finger, you want to make sure you go around it. So we'll get under everything here and then we're going to come up through the diamond in the middle. Just like that. And get that out of the way. We're going to do the same thing but on the other side with this cord. So we're going to go underneath of everything we're going to go around this cord right here. This is where it comes up from my finger, right here. We're going to go underneath of everything and then also come up through that diamond in the center. And at this point you can kind of see it's like a four leaf clover looking thing. So once you get to that point, go ahead and pull it off your finger and then start tightening this very, very slowly. And you can pull from the four different cords. You have one, two, three, four. And each cord will do a different, um, it will pull on a different angle or a different cord. Some of these you might have to tighten up just a little extra without pulling on those two cords, like that one. Okay, now once we get to this point, this is going to be the base of our, of our uh, pumpkin. So I've got a pen over here somewhere, and this is a little big. Um, I would go with like just a regular pen. This one is a little too big for what I want to do, but I want to take this right up the center of this to create a hole. And once I have that hole, I'm going to go back and tighten up some of these cords and trying to make it a little more even. It, this doesn't have to be perfect because you won't see this. This is just the base of our of our pumpkin. So we're basically we're creating this hole right in the center. You can see it right there. And once we have that, then we can move to the next step. This is where you're going to attach your keys or your key rings. Um, we're going to end up cutting these two cords off, so don't worry too much about those. Um, and we're going to grab some orange. I have just regular orange here. You could probably use uh, some neon orange. I'm just going to clean this end up a little bit. And actually, I'm going to cut this to prepare it for my FID. So you cut it on an angle. Um, you don't have to have a FID for this, but I do recommend it. 
And actually, I don't even have my normal fit. I don't see it here. So I'm going to have to use what's called a 325 fit, which is a little smaller. Um, but if I, if I burn the end of this right, um, melt it to a smaller point, it should work just fine. Just like that. And then we'll screw this into place. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to start from the bottom. And all we're doing is going up through that hole. And I'm going to pull almost all of this through. Probably leave, I don't know, a good three or four inches. And we're just going to loop around this. We're just going to keep on making passes. Whoops, and I went underneath when I should have went that way. So there we go. You can see I'm just making loops right around. So you're just going up through the center. Whoop, just pulled it right out of my hand. And you're just creating these loops. Now you don't want them to be too tight because we're going to accent with yellow through the middle of this. And once we get a little further, I'll, you'll, you'll understand what I'm doing here. Um, but, but like I said, I'm just going to keep on looping these. So you're just going right up through the center. Now I was watching the other video. It's a really cool design. So I was like, hey, it's, it's a week before Halloween. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we try this out? So we'll keep going. Looks like I can do about four passes uh, per side before I have to go to the other side of this loop here. And it's a good idea to get rid of the twists that are in here as you go so that you have a nice looking pumpkin which doesn't have a bunch of twisting going on and you know what I think I think I'm gonna do one I think get one more in there so we'll do five there we go all right on this one I am going to go I'm not gonna try to bring it on this side of the loop and then come up the other side I'm actually going to go through the loop now so we'll go to the other side of this loop and then basically start right there. Pretty easy. You can do these pretty quick too. I'm, I'm not going to cut from this video and I'm what, seven minutes into it it looks like? And we're pretty close to being finished. Not too far away. And then if you have your, your cords all ready to go, and you want to make a bunch of these, you could probably knock these out pretty quick. That one. Starting to get a little tight in the middle now. It's not a bad thing, that's why you got the fid. You see how I have that big twist there? really need to get that out of there. So I'm just grabbing this cord, and as I pull, I'm twisting it the, the other way that it needs to go. Just like that. Alright. And I'm going to go ahead and get this twist out of this cord because it's getting pretty twisty. There we go. And up through the center again. And see how I had to back that out to get rid of this twist? Sometimes you will have to kind of manipulate the cord to do what, it, what you want it to do. That's just part of part of paracording. All right, and see here how I brought this cord up through this first loop here. That's not what I was trying to do. So we're going to actually go back down through that loop to bring it on the other side. See how it came up through here instead of right here. And I can pull that down to tighten that up just a little bit there. All right, and I think I think we'll do one more. It's getting pretty pretty hard to get through here into the right spot. Just make sure you come up through the center where it needs to be. Pull that tight. And there we go. Now it doesn't look that great yet, but we're almost finished. So, I'm going to remove the fid off of this one. 
and I am going to make our cuts. We got three to cut here, and we're going to cut this orange one. But there's a trick. You want this orange one to come right up through the middle, which I wasn't real successful at doing. So I'm going to pull this back through. Because what we're going to do is we're going to cut the, the orange off, and then we're going to cut a little piece of green to slide right over the top of it. So we need this to come right up through the middle. So I'm going to get as close to the middle as this as I can. Oh, there we go. Perfect. See how that came right up through the middle? There we go. Alright, so I'm going to make my cut. I'm going to leave just a little bit. I don't know, about a half an inch. Right there. And then I'm going to melt the end to a point. Let it cool down just a moment before you twist this. Because it can get pretty hot pretty quick. There we go. And then we're going to cut all three of these together. Just like that. Be sure not to burn yourself. That's the last thing I want you guys to do. And we're just going to mash that in there. Just like so. Okay, so you can see we kind of have a pumpkin type deal going here. Now, what we want to do is, I'm going to grab first, I'm going to throw these little pieces away. Those are too small to do anything with. And I'm going to cut off of here about I don't know, eight inches, I think, and do the same thing. We're going to put these in the fit, put this into the fit. So we want to melt that to a nice little point. Get rid of this one. Get that screwed right on in. Pretty easy to do. And then from one spot, Let's see, where do I want this to start? That looks like a good spot. All we're doing is running this underneath of the oranges. So I'll get back into the frame here so you can see what I'm doing. And we're just kind of putting like a yellow sort of, uh, I don't know, accent on the middle of these. Whoa, and I just pulled. Okay, so that cord... didn't quite work how I planned it to. Oh boy. Alright, let me back this out right here. I think I can go back. There we go. Alright. Well, you can see things happen sometimes. So we're going to cut the cord again. I apologize for that. That was, that was a pretty big mistake right there. I think what happened is I didn't melt it good enough. Ouch, and I just burnt myself, too. Oh, this is going wonderful. <laughs> okay, so we got that going again. Now we're just running this through. And we'll go with this one and that one. Okay, perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is fuse these two together. So I'm going to cut this here. And you have to use very little heat so that it doesn't turn black on you. We're just going to kind of fuse these two together. And it's always good if you have a single flame torch lighter for this type of work. Because it's a lot more accurate. And you can see what you're, see what you're doing a little easier. And we're just going to push those together. Now ideally what you want to do is this fused section would go underneath of these orange sections just like that so that you really you'd really have to look hard to be able to see where it's fused at but now you don't have to worry about that coming out and the last thing we need to do is grab our green and since this side isn't melted yet actually I'm going to cut a piece off so I have some fresh there we go. 
So I'm only cutting, I don't know, about a half inch, just a little longer than the stem that's already on there. And then pull the center strands out. Just like that, and I think I got one more in there. There we go. I'm going to use my FID to place inside of here. And what I want to do is just melt these ends so that they don't fray. Just real fast, just kind of roll it on there. Just like that. Once you have that, you should be able to slide this off of your FID. See how it's nice and round right there? Should be able to slide this right onto the orange piece. Might have to manipulate it just a little bit to get it to stay on there, but it'll go. And if you have a pair of needle nose pliers, this is a good spot when you can like get inside of there and kind of hold it while you're sliding this down. But uh, there we go. It's not the prettiest but it'll give you something to do for your Halloween decorations. And there it is. That is the pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern um, keychain. And it looks like you could probably do a couple more oranges on here just to make it look a little better. But I hope you like it. Sorry it took so long. This is one of my longer videos because I didn't, have a, I didn't cut it at all. And uh, be sure to check out the Facebook group where this will be posted. It's facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And until then, paracord on. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button to your left. There's other great videos all the time and there's a few to the right side of the screen. And you can also buy paracord at our site with the link at the bottom left. Thank you again for watching.